So in this uh, video tutorial, I want to go over specifically the way you can get text write-on effect with the background that follows it. So what we're going to do is bring in a text object into the scene and put some sample text in there. And you can place this text object anywhere on the viewport. Let's just put it for simplicity's sake in the middle. And now what you need to get is a quad. So I'm going to bring in a quad into the scene. And I'm going to make the quad properties to fit the text as the text is now. So basically I'm going to fill the quad so that it's, it's the exact size I want it to be to facilitate the text now. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a material real quick and attach that to the quad. Okay, so you can see that my quad is pretty much roughly the same size as my text. Now once you have that, and I'm going to enable my pivot, so I'm going to click the pivot tool here at the top where you can press Control T. So you can see my pivot point. Now as you write, the text is going to scale obviously to the, to the right, to the right hand side of the screen. So I want my pivot point of my quad also to be at the left side so that when you scale it, it will scale to the left side like that. Okay, so I need to get the exact um, the, the exact figures here. So we can see that my quad is uh, 358 pixels in the width. So if we just take half of that, which is 179, so my pivot should be exactly at minus 179. And now I know my pivot is exactly at the left edge of this quad. So now when I type and I set the background quad to auto follow the text it's going to scale that way which is exactly what I wanted to do all right so make sure your position your scale port, uh, proportions are at one and one and then what we got to do now is just make your quad a child of your text so highlight the text let go and your quad now becomes a child of your text one okay then we just select your text one go into the tabs and options and in the auto scale here at the bottom just enable that and it's already set to first child and your quad is the first child of your text one and in the mode just select width only now when you start typing in your text your background will scale with it now you can go a step further uh, if you wanted the background to scale also downwards if the operator would have pressed return you'll see that it's not it's not scaling we need to change another parameter on the quad to facilitate that so what I'm gonna do is in my quad I'm gonna bring it out of the text so that it's not a child anymore and you can see that my height is 48 well I need to move my pivot point to the top left edge of the quad so that when it scales and it scales downwards it scales not like this but only it scales downwards, right? So I just got to put my y-axis to 24, and what that does is it puts the pivot point at the top left edge of the quad. So now, now when I make a return key with the text, it'll scale down, which is exactly what I want. Okay? Make sure your scale is always at one-to-one -one ratio before you make the quad a child of the text. <laughs> so now I'm going to make the child, make the quad a child of the text now and make sure that's enabled, which it is. Let's change the mode to width and height. And now when you type in here and press the enter key, it'll scale with it. This is exactly what we want. 